The Last of Us Episode 8 was absolutely insane. Let's give it a review. The latest episode in The Last of Us depicted everything that we love about the game. Like number one, the desperation. Ellie immediately realizes that she has to find both food and medicine to keep both herself and Joel alive. For the first time ever, she has to truly fend by herself against a cold, barren wasteland not knowing who or what is out there. And that is where we get introduced to David and James. My name is David. This is my friend James. Fun little video game Easter egg right there. James is being played by Troy Baker himself, the man that voiced Joel in the first and second video games. Mwah. Perfection. Speaking about that, at number two, we are discussing a gray moral compass. It is through David and James that we are introduced to a cult-like religious group. Okay, all I ask is 10 seconds of your time. I just want to I talk. won't say it twice. And by the looks of it, nobody there is quite all there. Fair enough. And of course, in typical Last of Us fashion, it gets dark really quickly. When people who depend on you are dejected, hungry, and desperate, how much are you willing to compromise your humanity in order to survive? Which leads to number three, making tough choices. Ellie is able to secure the medicine that she needs to keep Joel alive by trading with James and David. But this starts both of these groups in a spiral of retribution that is going to test Joel and Ellie to the max. If you've played the game's familia, you know exactly what's about to happen. David, of course, shows his dark, violent, and twisted side, capturing Ellie, while the rest of his group goes to search for Joel. Yes, they were trying to get payback because Joel sent somebody from their group to the Shadow Realm. But of course, we knew that that wasn't gonna lead anywhere nice, because Joel channels his inner John Wick and sends everybody else packing. He is able to fight tooth and nail in order to find out where Ellie is in an attempt to rescue her. And that is where we get to number four, and the most important part, the ultimatum. The major themes of this episode are deprivation and survival by any means necessary. We get to see that play out both on the side of the heroes and the villains. In order to survive, David has turned his cult-like group into cannibals. What is it? Venison. And Ellie, on the other hand, has to pretend that she actually wants to join this sadistic group in order to survive. Really? Time for the action, and baby, it delivered. Ellie is about to get whacked. We get a crazy ass scene where Ellie is able to use her smarts in order to create doubt in both David and James. Biting David and using the excuse that she is infected in order to have them distracted. Boom goes the dynamite, and Ellie turns James's neck into sashimi, which then sends her to the point of no return. She has one of two options face an imminent death and an even worse fate at the hands of David, whose true colors have shown to tell us how twisted and dark his intentions are, or to become the violent monster that she knows she can be. A violent, twisted, and fitting end to the episode, adapting one of the key scenes from the game, where Ellie is backed against the corner and has to truly embrace her dark side to survive, fending for herself, exploring a violent path, and brutalizing David to the point that she has no way of turning back. This moment has changed her life forever. Overall, this episode gave me everything that I wanted to see. Troy Baker returning for one of the pivotal moments in the series. Ellie getting the chance to show everybody that not only could she take care of herself, she's willing to lay it all on the line, incruing her humanity in order to survive. And finally, a Joel at the end that is able to reunite with Ellie and open up to her as his companion. Even going as far as calling her baby girl, exactly what he used to call his daughter. Showing us how much he truly cares about her. The action was an A+. Plus. The dialogue and the tension were also up there when it comes to quality. And of course, I can't wait to see the final episode. But I want to know, what did you think about episode 8? Do you think that they adapted the David storyline the way that it should have been? Let me know in the comments down below.